All right. All right. Okay, Kirby, that makes sense. So it looks like uh, we're finally all cozied in. Mm -hmm. We're about to see Soto's Kirby versus Wizrobe's Yoshi. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do hand warmers. Okay, yeah, we're going to He starts this. off with an egg. That is not an opener that I see from Yoshi very often. <laughs> But it's good, he, he's calling out that uh, Soda's gonna be going to the top platform. Try to add some chip damage. Yeah, and, and you see, like, uh, Wizrobe is threatening. He's throwing those up airs out there. He's going in. Yeah, his zoning nowadays is, it's like, still safe, but it makes it so much harder for uh, any character, especially Kirby, to come in. Okay, right there. He threatened, but he didn't throw anything out, I guess. That, that's what you call respect. Oh, wow. Tech chase? Okay. And now, instead of hiding under the side platform, He's been uh, standing on the side platform. That allows him to cover Kirby's landing on the top plat yeah. there. Against Kirby. Yes. I think that that's probably a, good, a better idea than is, is against some, uh, some Absolutely. Characters. Because it's true that he needs to stay within range to threaten Kirby if he's going to the top platform. Nice. Use that double jump on to cut right through. And then up air, that should, follow that up. That clinch it. Gone at 125. Very nice. Nice. Okay. Crowd's really hyped for Smash 4 behind us. Yeah, it, it definitely is Smash 4. Okay. Let's see this tech chase. Oh, got the push off. At that point, what, a turn around grab would have been better? Uh, I don't think so because he didn't have any uh, any shield stun. Oh. Uh, yeah, then at that point he couldn't. Yeah, so against Yoshi, at that sort of high percent push off isn't the worst thing you can do. Mm -hmm. And additionally, I'm I'm not sure what else he would have done. Yeah, I, it, like it, in those situations, I trust Soto better than my own judgment. <laughs> Just limited options, I see. What up egg. There? Okay, yeah, and he that has should no be jump. it. Throw the egg. Yep, and, and don't get hit do. by the egg. <laughs> that's also very yeah, important. Yeah, Soto, Soto, Soto scouted that oh, egg. Oh, great read on the roll with the double jump there. Yeah, and then Wizro reading uh, an immediate double jump that Soto didn't give him. And there's that big fat back air. Wow, that egg was so close. Wow! These eggs are just barely missing Soto. Yeah, Soto is doing a very good job of reacting to them, I think. I Yeah, definitely. He's uh, he's playing some bullet hell games. He's scoring some grazing points. Mm -hmm. and, and right there, th that, that was just the, the picture of, of caution. Like, that in my mind is, is what really good 64 looks like. It's like you have hitboxes just barely grazing each other. Yeah, I love it. When the neutral is just like, again, each one is just so close to overlapping, but not quite. Yeah, it really brings out the beauty of this game. Whoa, nice great parry. parry! And that's really tough timing. And there we go. Did he land with a, a fair, Chris Soto? So then he uh, dealt with a fair and then parried, knowing the up tilt was coming after. Yeah. That's so smart. Wizrobe has had some absolutely nuts, like, DI parries. <laughs> I remember there, there was there was one I saw at Smash and Splash 3 in, in particular where he he DI'd from like a meter in the air down to the ground just so he could parry the next hit. It was absolutely ludicrous. Yeah, <laughs> Soto not like, fooled by the egg. Yeah. Still a full stock, but yeah, Soto's been playing it super patiently. Yeah, oh, he tried to get go for that fair, time. tried to continue the combo. Yeah. Oh no double jump! Yeah, that'll do it. And just barely missed grabbing the edge there. Good stuff. I've been sort of surprised to see the. Uh, ooh, this could be bad. Oh man, DI out. Ah, oh, but yeah, Soto went for another up tilt. Mm -hmm. It sort of surprised me. Yeah. I almost feel like against someone like Wizrobe, you should uh, avoid using multi hit moves like down air uh, when you could set up for it. Uh, just tech chase, otherwise. Yeah. Well, like Wizrobe showing a bit of respect. What is it going to be? Back wow. air. And that'll do it. Again at 125. <laughs> Yeah, these are really good kill confirms coming in from Wizzy. Nice. Yeah, when he does try to uh, extend, he has to use his double jump. Oh, and there's parry. that parry turned the situation right oh, around on him. DI. Yeah, but Soto put up was. A uh, yeah, Soto really knew. Yeah, that was a dangerous cruise in neutral air by Wizrow. Wow. Yeah, he has one stock to play with. Great juggle coming out. Slipped right under that forward smash. Oh, I was expecting him to go out with a fair, but I like that he covered uh, with a back air. Soto didn't overextend on stage. He realized that Wizard wasn't actually going to go out there, and that's just smart. Calling tit for Dunk, that. What's the oh, another, and another. Get up, down what's it gonna be? Oh, up, up air. I was expecting yeah, like a double jump land on the side platform. Yeah. 
So Wiz are up two stocks and gets Soto in game one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was methodical, but I mean, Soto played it correctly, but Wizard just never put himself in a bad position. You know, Wizard was covering all of the options. Wizard so was, smart. Yeah, and with and uh, like I mentioned earlier, Wizard was being in Soto's face more often. Mm -hmm. Especially early in the game, you saw him just double jumping right past Soto as he was hopping on the top platform. Yeah, and then when he uh, uses his double jump, he goes actually to use it to cross the stage, knowing that he's safe from anything, and it allow him to. When he feels like he's being cornered a little bit and he wants to move around, challenge Soto, then he uses that double jump armor. Yeah. So it, it seemed like like Soto didn't quite know how to react to some of uh, Wizard of Yoshi's tag. I mean, to be fair, using double jump armor in neutral is something I haven't really seen. Um, it's definitely used, but not used to the same extent that Wizard of is. Yeah, it's, it's not something you see from every Yoshi. That's yeah, definitely no, true. No, definitely not. It is unique. And I, I just really love what Wizard brings to the table in this game. Again, he starts the game out with an egg. Is that a set play against Kirby? I think so. I think he's just calling out that Kirby likes to go high. So he's trying to get that free damage to start the game. Oh! And he gets that dunk. Nice. Oh my god. That was just really nice awareness. Yeah, he, he took him on, on a tour all around Dreamland. Uh, yeah, good DI. I mean, not good DI. Good um, drift towards the edge. Yeah, he had, he had to be cautious. Yeah, uh, Soda was in an jump. advantageous position there. Oh no, clips his jump, but okay. It actually hits him with a get-up attack, which is not a common occurrence in this game. Oh, wow! That trade! Yeah. That, yeah, wow! Yeah, he, he spent his double jump armor to get to get a hit, It was ultimately... Yeah, so just unfortunately for Wizrobe, Soto <laughs> expected that. He had the read. And what's the like right challenge? Egg. Oh, wow. Yeah, Soto saw it coming, so he just went around the top platform to punish. But that was uh, really smart by Wizrobe in order to get that double jump immediately. And yeah, now he, yeah, that was go. great drift. Didn't want to push him off, wanted to add that bear. Oh, wow. Yeah, but Wizrobe he, gets his double jump out so quick. He knows the frames very well. He really does. And that that's the difference between life and death for a Yoshi. I was actually sort of expecting a Revan combo there. Hey, knowing that that hitbox isn't very good. So just faces around it. Was Robin a one stock lead? Yeah, that was a, that was so sort of weird egg, but he he ended up being safe. Yeah, just a little bit though. It, it was pretty risky. Well, more risky than his others. It wasn't randomly so safe. Yeah, he had to drop shield there because a shield draw, uh, a shield break on the side plate of that percent wouldn't have worked out. Ooh, and and that That's, egg there. Yeah. Gave him another smash. chance, but Soto didn't let him uh, use it. Soto's been playing this matchup a really. Um, he's been making some big adaptations in game two. Yeah, he's been tightening oh, the screws to be jump. sure. Isaiah shook his head. He knew that Wizard was vulnerable. Wow. Got one last edge guard. He's not Don't even close. Don't get hit by this egg. Okay, oh no, we got it. another edge guard. Sorry. But that puts Soto in the lead. Yeah, for the first time. Set. Yep. Wizzy trying to scout out a hit really hard with his angel invincibility. Oh, he got a read on the jump too. It didn't was didn't he feel didn't, safe enough to throw anything no, out. No, and I don't blame him when you're uh, on your last stock. Okay. Oh, just barely missed. And that dash attack didn't connect either. Oh, from here, tech chase. Nice. Up there is hey. gonna do it. Sort of cl clanking. Ooh, and Whoa! This. And that should be an up air that might take that it. Was amazing. There we go. Perry oh God, that, that Perry on the up tilt. Oh my God! Yeah, saved his life and got one. Uh, got put one him, put him right in the running. Um, yeah. Ooh. Great double jump. Yes, yeah. Soto uh, is just Ooh. denying a lot of Wizard's Yoshi take there. Great game! Wow. So, so ga game one, I said Soto might not be ready for some of Wizard's Yoshi take, but it certainly seems like he does actually have some answers. Yeah, it seems like he's been very ready for a lot of the things Wizard's been bringing to the table. Yeah, uh, I wonder. I wonder if that's uh, the advice Isaiah has been giving him. I think so. And uh, Wizard doesn't have a coach. Um, I'm sure he'd like one. Yeah, I, I, it's true that that Fry's isn't exactly in the Smash business. So no, but it's really good that they've been uh, sponsoring Wizard. He goes to so much. He brings a lot of visibility to uh, their company. And Fry's was a um, sponsor, a big part of behind Cognitive Gaming. Oh, really? So that's why he was connected. You know, I see. when Cognitive uh, dissolved. That Fridays gave him the full sponsorship. 
it's still a, a oh, very good that sponsorship. Story. Yeah, that's why. That's pretty cool. It's great. I mean, in general, having sponsored 64 players really helps. <laughs> it's oh. great for the scene. It, it looks like Wizrob changed his palette. He's Dark Yoshi now. Oh, Dark Wizrob going Dark Yoshi. Ooh. The dark side no, dark of the egg. Dark Wizrob is actually a different player. I think I think that's a Smash 4 player <laughs> named Dark Wizrob. I don't know. But as far as 64, I'm seeing the yeah, uh, darker green, the like jungle green. Okay, so if he's not Dark Wizrobe, let's say Darker Wizrobe. That's definitely accurate. Yeah. Yeah, Wizrobe fishing around in his bag for something. Yeah, he does this, takes his time. Yeah, I'm sure it's also, uh, oh, no, he had his headphones on before. Yeah, he's keeping his mentality clean. Yeah. Not letting the loss get to him. No, unfortunately, though, the longer time he takes, yeah. the more Soto gets coached by Isaiah. Exactly. So it is a bit of a catch 22. Normally, uh, Wizrobe is the one who, um, the ball's in his court. You know, the right. game will start when he wants it to, and he will take his time to take his breaths, reset his mentality. Yeah, so it, it, it looks like Soda's finished talking his game plan with his advisor. Yep. And Isaiah this is, has cleared his mind and adjusted his glasses. Man, this is crazy. I did not expect this. Yeah, so this, I am expecting a tight set, or a tight game three right here. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing that we've seen that would make us expect anything other than another tight game. Okay, I think he doesn't have a double jump. Oh no, there's a double jump. Yeah, it does get him out of the pressure. That was a grab? They got hit yeah. at him? That was super strange. Yeah, I, I gotta wonder how intentional that was, because that was not the sort of situation in which I would typically expect it. Mm -hmm. But maybe that's the play they'll never expect it. Wow, great job sneaking with the egg to grab the ledge. And he was able to take a lot of hits of that, uh, of that downer and still make it back, even at this high percent. Wow, great drift away! Wizrobe's playing this neutral definitely a bit safer, but Soto's putting really good pressure. Yeah, he's he's been taking a lot of percent. He hasn't been opened up due to his uh, super armor. Intercepting with up airs, it's good, you know. Uh, Soto realizes he doesn't have to approach, but he can't give Wizrobe too much stage. And he hasn't been. You know, Soto's definitely been in the driver's seat so Nice! Far. Put the shield... Bait out that push off and then challenge with the nair. That's exactly what Kirby wants in this matchup. Yeah, Soda was waiting for it. Yeah, he was. Oh, and then he challenged yeah. that one with a double jab. I think that's the first egg that we've seen connect this set. <laughs> okay, well and now the another. Second. And this is the perfect time to be connecting your eggs. And that's then what's what this gonna be? Yeah. There we go. Wizrope keeping it even. Oh, dead even. That two percent means nothing. Yeah, that, that's one hit. Man, the, yeah, I, I mean, sneaking by, but we're gonna oh. be expecting some big combo. Wizard immediately disengaged after oh. he got that, and that might be a stock. Oh no! Okay, okay. the super armor saves him. Yeah, really. I, I said the percent doesn't matter much, but truthfully, when that percent, when Wizard takes more percent, that super armor is not gonna be as big of a save. Okay, I was expecting more of like a down tilt to challenge that, but uh, that was really smart. Oh, for no! no. Oh! Not what you want to see in Division 1 Game 3. Okay, good reverse back air. Yeah, so he still has a chance to clinch this stock. He's going to need some eggs but to But it would have been nice if he been able to... Oh! oh. oh. Okay, oh, that well that'll be it. That was a great it. egg. All right, and once oh. again, we're in more or less the same situation we were at the start of stock 3. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got let's... two stocks apiece. Yeah, that was smart from um, Wizrobe to DI, making sure he doesn't get hit on the platform as well. Last thing he wants is to be tech chased with up tilts. You know, he only has two stocks if he wants to close this out. Yeah, you you want to be careful. Oh, yeah. Now, neither of them are trying to overcommit. Yeah, this this is the sort of uh, circumstance oh. in which Isaiah's classic advice becomes oh, the most relevant. Oh, man! Great uh, approach to the top platform by Wizrobe! Yeah, he was, wow. He's been able to control the space, but I don't think he wanted that reverse. Soto's had a couple of close calls here. Oh, man. Yeah, after those first couple stocks, it looks like Wizrobe may have changed a couple things, and he's been much better about controlling space since. Yeah, it's a big, really clutch adaptation. That said, Soto is, just, is perfectly content to sit up there on that top platform. Mm -hmm. Oh, good trade. Good trade for Wizrobe, at least. Yeah, he's got... Yeah, so Wizrobe has four minutes of clock to run. And he'll use it. Yeah, so Soto is is currently behind as well. Yeah, for the percent, and... Oh, 
only a little bit more. And and we oh crazy challenge. That was a very smart down air. I was just it about might to have been say, slightly mistimed. We, by, we uh, well know that Wizrobe is perfectly content to let the clock run. Yeah, he is. Wow, yeah, and, and just, yeah. just made it. It took him a few tries, but he finally got that kill with the up air. Yeah, but all of those pokes, I mean, were necessary hard to get to that. Oh, man. That roll. This is E-cancel from Soto, but he got a forward smash. Coming up from underneath. What? To the soft hit of the Nair, didn't quite break the armor. No, now it's all up to Wizrobe. Well, you can see that. Oh, tilt. He used, oh, he keep used it the up air, he used the down air to stall Jeez. just outside of, of Soto's range until the shirt box became active. So much adaptation and coming in from Wizzy. No, nope, he didn't land. Down That's deep. it. Oh. Yeah, it's take the set for Wizro. Oh, Soto Wizrobe taking a deep breath. Yeah, so, Soto sighing. Sighing oh. after that. Okay, Wizro's going to stay on. Oh, and I, I hear we're bringing up Kimi Mario. Nice. Okay. So anytime I see this matchup, Mario versus Yoshi. <laughs> I have to ask that eternal question, yes. first posed by Vargamax v Vargamax. Can Mario Man ride a dino? <laughs> That's the question we all want to know. So we will have to see if Kimi's Mario Man can ride with Rogue's dino. I mean, for God's sakes, Yoshi has like was born with a saddle. So all, all Mario has to do is get on the horse. And you know what, even when you uh, fall off the horse, you got to get back on. And by horse, of course, I mean dino. I mean, everybody Mario. knows that Yoshi is Mario's horse. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, tell that to Wizrobe, because he's not going to let Kimamaro ride him. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Wizrobe is, like we've been talking about, one of the best Yabi mains in North America. Mm -hmm. And he's certainly up there among Yoshi mains in the world. Oh, absolutely. He, he is in, in the top flight. Yeah, I, I think he uh, is, based on our ranking, second to Karaba. As far I, as Yoshi's on the who's come to North America. Yeah, I, I, from from what I know and from the tournament results we have, that's 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 true. Yeah. Because I believe it was at Super Smash Con, he ran through all the Japanese Yoshi's, right? That was Super Smash Con, not this one, but a year ago, right? When he ran through all the Yoshi's. Um, but this one, I mean, I, I'm trying to remember ex the exact results. But Karaba, of course, got second place, had an incredible performance uh, this August. Um, I mean, as far as the rankings go. I definitely see Karaba being pretty...